Those of you that have done it before, there are one or two changes, so please just try and listen to my briefing and it will help you out when you're on the course. So, uh, without further ado, we're just going to talk about the swim. So can everybody get themselves an advantage point where they can see down the lake and there is a perfect demonstration going on in front of your very eyes. Okay, in a minute you're going to get into the water by climbing up onto this scaffold bridge and then um, sitting down on the grey pontoon just over there. <coughs> please don't dive or jump into the water because it's not very deep. Just slide in like swans and make your way out to the start line. I'm sure some of your swimming will be like swans as well. Okay, there, um, the start line is between that red speedo boy and the other red speedo boy that's the other side of the bridge. Those of you who can't see it, please uh, go for a straight line. You heard me shouting at the guys in the previous wave. I won't let you go until everybody is behind that imaginary straight line. Okay? Um, I'll give you a two minute, one minute, 30 seconds, 10 seconds, and then three, two, one, and go. You'll be away. If the claxon doesn't work, I will shout go, and uh, you can then start swimming down the lane. Okay, as you go down the lake, the first four boys are marked at every 100 metres. So 100, 200, 300, 400, you can swim either side of those boys. When you get to the 500 metre boy, there is a yellow boy off to the right hand side of it. Okay, that forms a gate. You must go through that gate at 500 metres. Okay, having gone through the gate, you then turn half right and head into the far right hand corner of the lake where you can see another very light coloured orange boy. You pass that boy keeping it on your left shoulder, and then you head across the back end of the lake as we look at it, and you'll disappear from view briefly um, in the distance, somewhere on the other side of that Japanese tea house. There, there is another boy, again, round that boy, keeping it on your left shoulder, and then you'll make a beeline to a boy that is just the other side of the Japanese tea house. That boy and the Japanese tea house form another gate. If you don't go through that gate, you will run aground on the mud on your right hand side. Okay, so don't be tempted to the corner, because it won't do you any good at all. So keep swimming towards the Japanese tea house, round the boy that's there on the right hand side, and then that will send you into the deep channel that links up with the river section. The river section goes all the way around this island, which is called 16 Acre Island, and eventually, like these swimmers here, you'll appear just on the side of a loja and then you'll swim under the bridge and then exit the water over there by the Speedo Swim Archway. You'll be pulled out of the water by the Speedo Swim Support Team! Yay! We've got a miserable job I've got to be in there for about three hours this morning and another three this afternoon. So please say thank you when they pull you out. Words of wisdom and advice for your fellow competitors this morning. Can we read about it in a forthcoming 220, Helen? Fantastic, Helen, good luck to you. Where is Richard Guthrie? Where is Richard? Hit Richard's wave three. Richard! Over here, you know. Do you know, I looked at this and I wondered who's the lunatic wearing the short wet suit. It happens to be the guy who lives here in Old Seaver Castle, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Richard Cuffey. Richard, you had a big dinner Friday night, we had a big dinner last night. How are we feeling this morning? Feeling strong. Very I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Richard, listen, thank you so much for all your cooperation on your assistance, ladies and gentlemen. Richard Guthrie from Hever Castle. Thank you very much, Richard. See you soon. Good luck. The previous man here, ladies and gentlemen. You guys need a full wetsuit, Richard. You really need to have a wetsuit. <laughs> Get in there, Rich. In three, two, one! Okay, there we go. I hope they heard you. Sun's in your face, isn't it? Okay, spectators, can we get you back up to the no. top of the steps of the lobby and you'll actually have a better view out there? Yeah. There is the... Helen's getting the last good wishes there. You got the shoes on, Helen? Yeah, the shoes are out. All set? All set? And then... Um, there is a 220 stand up in the uh, village, guys, and lots of additions of this month's 220. Which is
Let's get everybody up to the start line. There's some rather reluctant ones going in. Okay, there's a last wave from some swimmers there, guys. Come on, wave back to them, guys. Give them a big wave. They want to feel your love. Okay, guys, we need a few swimmers, about 20 swimmers need to come back, 10 meters. Everybody back behind the mythical line between the two red speedo boys. Please come back. We cannot start until every... That's it. Thank you, guys. Everybody ready? Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, Brian, we on 10? Okay, guys, spectators, join me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Right, spectators, let's hear you. Let's give a big cheer. Whoa. Off they go. The third and final wave of the gauntlet. We have 835 people doing the gauntlet distance. That's the half iron man. Or 70.3. Or 113 kilometers if you want to look at it that way. Okay guys, can we get all the spectators back up on top of the, the Lugia? Because we are now going to bring on our uh, first wave in the Olympic standard distance. Face to pop up. Oh, there he is. You know. Yeah. 
Keep going, Pete. How are you feeling? Do you want to see another hill? <laughs> easy bit now, easy bit. <laughs> right. Oh, it's a relief. You think, oh, punch you free. Well, I know that's the worry. You think, shit, what's the hell of punch? Yeah. So. That's quarter two he's coming at, just after quarter two. Yeah. Have a good run! You do well, keep going! Smile! Right, 